Hey, how y'all doing? Fine, thank you. You know Jesus Christ is Lord God Almighty? We're good. Jesus good is Jehovah. Jehovah is Jesus. You just don't exalt his, na his name. Have a good day. How, fine, how come you don't exalt him? Above every name. Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 said, God has highly exalted him, giving him a name above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Things in heaven, things in earth, and things under the earth. And every tongue must confess Jesus Christ as Lord to the glory of God. We agree with you. You have a good day. Jehovah's glory is his name, Jesus. That's the new covenant. We have to exalt that name. Isn't that right, sir? Have a good day, sir. Don't you know that? You have to exalt you the name. By, have a good day. Don't you know you have to exalt the name Jesus Christ above every name? According to Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 through 11. Above every name. That's including the name Jehovah. Every name that's in heaven, earth, and under the earth. You, been, you guys are in disobedience. You're in rebellion. And Jesus only died for the 12 tribes of Israel. He himself comes from the tribe of Judah. So, that's a nice day. So you guys are heathens. Heathens are under God's condemnation. You're under God's judgment. You guys stormed ancient Jerusalem. You tore it down. What do you think about this beautiful weather? I nice like day. it. It's, it's nice. Yep. I know you're changing the subject. But uh, you guys don't love Jesus. You hate Jesus. Because he's a black man. You know he's a black man in the Bible. And uh, white people hate black people. History shows that. So you try and cover his name up and your, your watch tires, y'all used to put white Jesus in there. There is no white Jesus. Okay? You guys messed up. You snared by the works of your own hands. The black people y'all hate, that's God's descendants. Jesus chose that line, lineage, that heritage. I sincerely hope you have a good day. I'm a Jew. You looking at a Jew. Have a good that's day, fine. sir. That's fine. I'm a real okay Jew. Have, you have a good day. You cool you. with that? Have a good day. You know, the Jews are superior. We're superior race. And you thought you were the superior race. The Caucasians did. You get white privilege. The Bible is the Jew privilege. It tells you that in Romans chapter, what, 3? Yeah, Romans chapter 3, verse 4. Verse 1 through 4. Yeah. The Jews have the advantage. Jesus is king of the Jews. He sits on the throne of David. So you heathen have no portion with our king. You have no portion of our inheritance. You the wicked. You the devil. The devil's children. Right? You already know that. The only thing you got coming is the lake of fire, sir. All liars have had a part in the lake of fire. That's Revelation 21, verse 8. Any questions? Jehovah is Jesus, and Jesus is Jehovah. Take that with you. Those heathens hate hearing the truth. What's up, bro? How you doing, man? Those heathens hate hearing the truth, man. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ exalted, man. That's the truth. Above every name, man. Above every name. This world is full of antichrist haters, man. Who would not exalt his name. Above every name. Including you Hebrew Israelites under Mosaic law. Y'all hate Jesus Christ. And he hates y'all back too. He said he would reward all them that hate him to their face. That's Deuteronomy 7, verse 10. So that's what I'm out here doing, letting his 
his enemies know to their face. He hates them. Way more than they hate him. And he will get his vengeance on all his haters, all his enemies. All that are confederate against Jesus the Christ. All nations are confederate against him. Psalm 62 4 said they only consult to cast him down from his excellence. They are one consent to cast him down from his excellence. That's his name being exalted. God's excellency is his name. Y'all know that? The Bible says his name alone is excellent. Psalm 148 verse 13. His name alone is excellent. Psalm 111 verse 9 said, Reverend is his name. His name is Reverend. That's the name Jesus. J-E-S-U-S. That name alone is excellent, man. Above every name. King Soup, man, almost crashed. Y'all saw that? Almost wrecked. I played it off good though, didn't I? Some of y'all didn't even know unless I just told you. How y'all doing? All right. How come y'all don't exalt the name Jesus Christ? Huh? I'm just because the Bible tells us to, right? You know the Bible tells us to exalt His name above every name. In Philippians chapter two, verse nine through eleven. Uh, y'all don't believe the whole Bible? Y'all don't believe in God's word? Well, you heathens are condemned in the Bible. You heathens are none of God's chosen people. Twelve tribes of Israel are his chosen. So you guys are wasting your time. You know you're going to the lake of fire for eternity? According to Revelation 21 verse 8. Because all liars should have their part in the lake of fire. Jesus is a black man from the tribe of Judah. The chosen people are, are the 12 tribes of Israel, so-called Negro race. They were carried away captive by slave ship, transatlantic slave trade. Y'all heard of that? That's in Deuteronomy 28, verse 68 in the Bible. All right. They were added to the Constitution of the United States. As they called three-fifth persons. We're the only people that didn't consent. We didn't consent to being uh, citizens. We were brought here against our will. We're Jesus Christ's descendants. He's coming back to avenge us on all liars. Understand that. That's what the word do, shut them up. They ain't got no comeback. 
They have nothing to say. Because they're guilty. The Bible said that every tongue should be uh, be held guilty. Right? They're guilty. So they don't have nothing to say when you're guilty. Nothing but judgment. They looking forward to judgment. And they will get it. It's coming. Lord just letting their sins pile up on them. Iniquity unto iniquity, sin unto sin. Let it pile up on these heathens. They had no portion in our kingdom, man. I'm going to read that to y'all. In case y'all think I'm tripping. That's all through uh, Nehemiah and the book of Ezra. A perfect examples of that. When, they were, when we were rebuilding our city. The heathens wanted to join in. And uh. What's going on, my brother? No, All right. And they were uh, they were told uh, that they were heathens and they had no portion in our kingdom. They know they have no portion in rebuilding our city. Now we're rebuilding it spiritually. That's Ezra chapter 1, verse uh, 2 through 5. And also 1 Peter chapter 1 and uh, 1 Peter chapter 2. We're rebuilding our city spiritually. We're a spiritual house, spiritual kingdom. And we're offering up spiritual sacrifices. And the name Jesus Christ is the main spiritual sacrifice. When Jesus said, Hallowed be thy name. Remember, he said, I come in my Father's name. So in Matthew 6, he said, Hallowed be thy name. Holy be thy name. And uh, if y'all been following my teaching videos lately, like the last one I made was uh, Make War. Hey, right, what's going on, blood? Come here a minute. <laughs> You see how he looked at me? He's like, nah, I know who you are. Mm hmm And, uh... Yeah, check that out. It's called Make War. And, uh... Like I said, the main spiritual sacrifice is the name Jesus Christ. Uh... His name is praise. His name means praise. His name is Judah. There's a lot of definitions goes into the name Jesus Christ. Right? And if you're a spiritual in Christ, you, you pick it up. And there's scriptures that tell you that. His name is praise, man. His name is salvation. Right? Like I said a minute ago, his name is glorious, reverend. His name is glorious. His name is excellent. And you need, uh, those of you who don't know, you need to ask him to unite your heart to his name, to the glory of his name, and to the fear of his name. That's what men do not have the fear of God, especially unregenerated men. They do not have the fear of God, which is a treasure. 